Hey, this is Laura Whitmore with the Women's International Music Network and the She Rocks Awards. And we're live today with the She Rock Spotlight Series. It's our goal to support musicians in this challenging time. And today we have three incredible performing groups, performers and performing groups who are gonna play for you. And if you check out our description, you'll see that there's a donate link where you can donate money that goes straight to the artist. And we're so stoked tonight to have um, Heather Yeomans, who is an incredible singer songwriter. We have Haley and Spencer from 76th Street, and we have the fantastic singer songwriter and saxophone player, Mindy Abair. And I'm gonna bring them in right now to say hey to you guys before we start the music. So, hey, hi, here we go. Let's have everybody on mute so I can say hello. Um, here, I can't hear anybody. Hi, guys. Hi. Hey. <laughs> How are y'all doing tonight? Good. Say hey to the folks in Parade Land. Hello, everyone in Parade Land. <laughs> Ready to play you some music. Yes, we are, and we're so thankful. To to parade for hosting us tonight and so i am going to um start out with heather and we're going to have a little chat and then she's going to perform and then we're going to bring back um 76th street and mindy a little bit later but before we do that i just want to check in with you guys how are you all doing while you're staying at home are you being creative definitely <laughs> <laughs> writing a lot singing a lot yeah yeah well, today my big adventure was going to the grocery store today, which was terrifying, but that's a story for another day. <laughs> Anyhow, we are going to like bring up Heather and mute 76th Street and Mindy, and we'll bring you guys back in just a little bit. So um, see you soon. And hey, Heather. Hey, how you doing? Great, great. So let's see. Let's mute... Uh, can you guys mute your video and audio and then we'll, we'll bring you back? So Heather, um, share a little bit. I hear that you recently released some new music. Yeah, I just released a live EP called Upfront and Unplugged, Heather Yeoman's Live at the Hotel Cafe. Um, I released it this month because I felt like more than ever, we just need live music and the sound of a crowd. And so I recorded originals and covers during my show at the Hotel Cafe last year. And so we mixed it, we mastered it, and we put it out. John is my husband, the wonderful guitar player sitting next to me. Um, he helped me with that and plays guitar on that EP as well. So I just felt like it was really special to bring that to everybody at home and like reading the comments from everybody saying that they're just so happy to have a little piece of the Hotel Cafe right now when it's closed and we can't go out to live shows. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, it's so weird not being able to go out to live shows. Um, I guess this is our, our closest thing to it, right? Yeah, and it's honestly, we were talking about this the other day, like performing live for an audience is one of my favorite things to do as a musician. It's maybe the main reason why I do what I do. So this has been so hard. I know it, it's the same case for so many other musicians all around the world to not have that audience. I remember like doing my first um, live during the lockdown and it was so weird, like ending the song and then it was just silent. Yeah. <laughs> but then you you're like, comment <laughs> like, is um, anybody watching? I don't know. I know. Right. But, yeah. but I can feel them from the emojis. Yes. Um, awesome. We're just so excited that we can share what we love with everybody because we know it's it's a hard time, but I just want to kind of bring a little light to the situation with the music and I hope that this makes somebody's day that's watching um, because that's what it's all about, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, well, without further ado, um, take it away. I'm gonna hide me and it's your turn. to the 
party because she's afraid to be seen. My other girls that think they're smarter, but waist a little smaller. She's only 16. shine. I'm, in addition to the live EP that I just released, I'm also working on um, a full recorded project and EP, and that song will be on there. It was written with another incredible woman in music, Maria Gironis, um, and she's just such a ray of light for the industry and, for, and supports artists and singer-songwriters so much. So shout out to Maria, um, who I hope is watching. And uh, this next song is a ballad. Um, I joke and say that I'm kind of like, like the moody, like ballad sad girl sometimes, but I know that you guys are probably watching this and after that first song, like don't even believe that. Um, but it's a lot of what I write. Um, but I think it's okay to be introspective sometimes. So this is, is it just me? <laughs> just me or am I falling for you could it really be true is it just me or do you feel the same way that I do but now Is this a cheap and lying 
so much. Um, I was singing a lyric in that just now and it hit me a completely different way. <laughs> um, it, the lyric is, is this a dream or am I imagining things? So maybe we have a quarantine anthem on our hands. I don't know. Is it just me? I, I don't know. Um, so um, that's a song I, I wrote on my own. I actually write a lot on my own on piano, even though um, I'm a vocalist first, but I also play bass and sing. I'm not playing bass today because, you know, got to minimize the setup for this. <laughs> um, but this last song is also going to be on the EP that I'm working on. It's called My Kind of Trouble. There's also a live version on um, Upfront and Unplugged, Heather Yeoman's Live at the Hotel Cafe, um, with a real crowd cheering, which is um, amazing. It just like brings a smile to my face to hear like clapping or just people talking or buzzing, you know? Um, so here we go. This is the last song for me, and then I'm going to pass it off.
Heather, fantastic. Can you tell people where they can find out more about you and check out your music? Absolutely. So I'm all over the gram. I'm all over Instagram at Heather Yeomans. We actually have our handles um, as our names here. Um, it's H-E-A-T-H-E-R-Y-O-U-M-A-N-S. It looks like you mans. Um, you can also find out more about me on my website. That's www.heatheryeomans.com slash music because I'm also an actress <laughs> and do some other things. And then um, also YouTube. So um, hats off, literally, <laughs> to my husband, John, here, who is just an incredible guitar player. Um, John, where can they find you? Yeah, I'm on YouTube. Just youtube.com slash John McLennan. If you like guitar, go on there. <laughs> and he has lots of lessons, so if you're, if you're bored at home. Uh, if you're trying to learn while you're staying at home, check it out. I'll be there, give you a guitar lesson. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you guys so much. And if you like what you heard, please donate. Um, you are, the link is in our description. It's thewomen.com slash donate. T-H-E-W-I-M-N dot com slash donate. Um, we'll be giving all the funds that we raise to the musicians that are performing tonight. Plus, we'll be donating to the Music Cares COVID Fund for musicians. So thanks so much, Heather. We're going to say goodbye to you for a little bit, and we're going to bring 76th Street in. They're so, cool. They're so good. <laughs> right. See you guys later. <laughs> Sorry, we're still we're still figuring out all these crazy technical fun things that happen. Hey, there they are. <laughs> Hello. Hi guys. Welcome to the She Rock Spotlight series. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. All right. Well, if you just tuned in, we're sharing amazing musicians live and supporting the music community while we're all staying at home. So with me now is the amazing duo. Well, Okay, she's coming back. <laughs> of, of Haley and Spencer from 76th Street. And where are you guys, like, where are you guys sheltering in place? Um, our apartment in Phoenix. <laughs> all right, Phoenix. Yeah, and um, together, so it's easy for us. All right, well, at least you have a creative partner to, like, buckle down with here. <laughs> so um, you guys released some new music this year too. Can you share a little bit about what's been happening with you guys? Yeah, we released a new single on Valentine's Day. Um, it's called We Were Free um, and we're, we're gonna be singing it today. And it's about falling in love with your best friend. And it was the first song we released in a while. So we were just so excited to get music out to people's mm -hmm. ears. Um, and then we also were working on a, we, put out a music video for We Were Free also, which luckily we finished filming and put out before all of this. Yes. <laughs> the timing worked out. So that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, okay, great. Well, we're so excited to hear you play. I've heard you guys before, you're amazing. So I'm gonna attempt to hide myself and let you guys take it away. Thank you so much. We're gonna start off with a newer one. called In My Bones. How do I feel you in my bones? Even when I'm alone, the time spent on my mind, it's like a second home. But I say that I'm doing okay while I wait to hear and knock at my door and tell me I'll run away. We never could just fall asleep. 
sleep I think of moonlight shines differently on you even in the stillest nights you found a way to shake up my life how do I feel you in my bones even when I'm alone the time I'm spending on my mind is like a second home but I say that I'm doing okay while I wait to hear a knock at my door and tell me we'll run away. But never could just fall asleep. You made me see everything differently. when we started writing music together um and we are now 23 and we never stop we just love it so much we love writing together and singing together and performing together um obviously right now it's difficult on the the last one the performance part but thank you so much for for hosting this um, awesome opportunity for us musicians we're just like itching to get out there and this is a really nice way to do it um and this is our new reality for now, so. <laughs> yeah, so we're not tech savvy, so this <laughs> shall be interesting. It's been, it's been interesting, for sure. Yeah. Um, so this next song that we have, it's, it's not released yet. It's our next song that we plan on releasing. Um, so it's about kind of meeting someone and they surpass all the expectations that were put on us by kind of like movies and books that we read saying that that pers perfect person's out there. Mm -hmm. Um, but they're unrealistic expectations. So this is about meeting that person that meets those expectations. <laughs> and outdoes themselves. Yes. Set of them. This is called Like You Do. Like you do, I've read every story 
but yours is the tale that came true. Because of you, I played every song, and yours is my favorite too. Everyone told me that a real life doesn't come close. Change the game, put them to shame. I swear, I've seen every movie, but nothing quite gets to me like you. Like you do, I've read every story, but yours is the tale that came true. Cause of you, I about it um, before we started. It's like it's going to be our last song. Um, and we wrote this one a couple of years ago um, about a true story about uh, falling in love with your best friend. Um, do you have anything you want to add before we finish um, up? <laughs> I think it's one of my favorite songs that we've written because it's such a, a story. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when we write, we kind of just throw random things out and it's more abstract. But this song was special because we kind of, we made it such a story, a beginning, middle, end, mm -hmm. took you through a roller coaster of emotions. <laughs> <laughs> so this is We Were Free. The day I met you, I needed somebody to talk to, someone I knew I could relate to. That semester I could count on you Must have been fate Cause that next year you were my roommate We laughed about all of our bad days We were best friends with nothing to lose Every day was a masterpiece The night brought an energy And when it was just you and me. We were dancing on the kitchen counter, nothing but that moment mattered. We were, we were free. We were running through the town that gave us stories we could never make up. We were, we were free. We never saw it coming. On 
that night you kissed me a secret we didn't know just what it meant yet we thought we might wake up and forget october passed and i fell for you every day was a masterpiece in the night brought an energy thank god for the night that we we weren't dancing on the kitchen counter nothing but that moment mattered we were we were free we were running through the town that gave us stories we could never make up we were we were free all beds were off on that night you kissed me hold on tight we're falling 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 we weren't dancing on the kitchen counter nothing but that moment mattered we were we were song is that your new song yeah oh wow fantastic thank you i think it's very fortunate for the world that you guys are sheltering in place together so that you can see <laughs> more of that good stuff for us <laughs> <laughs> so can you share where people can find out uh, a little bit more about you sure yeah so our music is available on all streaming platforms um, we are on instagram at 76th street so that's going to be our handle on everything um, and then we're also on YouTube. We've been posting a lot of fun videos on there. And yeah, we've done some uh, Q and A's and we've just uh, recently posted a five minute songwriting challenge. Um, so we basically right. coupled three random words and we had five minutes to each write like a little piece of a song. Um, so we're doing more creative stuff like that because we have time to do that kind of stuff. <laughs> um, and then we're also on TikTok. Um, and that handle is at 76th Street Official. Oh, cool. I got to check that out. I'm just learning about TikTok. So yeah. now I know where to go. <laughs> it's, a new, it's very new. It's very new. I think we hopped on like just before the big wave came in. So I think we caught the wave. Just All right. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for sharing your music. Um, we'll check in with you uh, in a little bit. Um, but now we're going to bring up Grammy Award winning saxophone player and singer songwriter Mindy Abair. So goodbye to you guys for a little bit and I'm going to say Thank hello you. to Mindy. Mindy, where are you? I'm here. You gotta start your video. I did. You see it? Here she is. <laughs> All right. And sorry, 76th Street. We're gonna we're gonna stop your video. We'll see you later. <laughs> hey, hey. So if you're just joining us, this is the She Rock Spotlight. We are sharing amazing music from musicians across the country with the goal of raising some funds for our musician friends who are stuck at home, can't tour, still making great music, but you know, it's hard to be a musician when you can't get out there in front of people. So now we have the amazing Grammy nominated performer, Mindy Abair, who I've known for, I don't even want to tell you how many decades, but she's fantastic. So Mindy, I saw that you released a song 
a week or two ago, right? Well, I actually, I didn't release it, uh, you know, for the first time. It came out on a record mm -hmm. last year, my record, No Good Deed, with uh, me and the Bone Shakers. But, you know, I'm sitting in my house, and we've been doing our own Facebook Lives here at, uh, at the living room every Tuesday. But, I mean, I just thought, I'm going to ask everybody what they're doing in their in their house for shelter in place. We're all stuck here, right? So I asked people to send me in videos and all these people sent me in, you know, them playing with their dog or them working out or them doing crazy stuff. So I put it all in a video uh, for Seven Day Fool because, you know, our song Seven Day Fool, everyone's in their house seven days a week. So it was the most fun project just to get all these videos. And it was, it was just fun to see everyone and it's fun to have it out there. So it's on my Oh my Facebook. God. That's awesome. I'm going to check that out. It's super fun. So yeah, it's not a new song. It came out last year for us, but it was just so perfect for shelter in place. We're all stuck here in our homes doing all kinds of crazy stuff, cooking and, you know, juggling toilet paper and, you know, <laughs> trying to be six feet away from anyone outside with masks on. It's funny. You have to have some fun with it. <laughs> right, right. But um, do you have some new music coming out or any projects you want to tell us about? You know what? What's really cool is right before kind of all of this happened and the world turned into, uh, you know, a, a closed down place, we were in the studio. So at the very beginning of March, I brought my band in and a couple friends uh, to make a new record. And so it was so cool to just be in there and, and feel all that power and energy and coolness of new music and uh, creating something new. It was just amazing. So at the tail end of it, uh, you know, all of a sudden people were going uh, shelter in place. And so I had all this new music to, you know, keep me occupied and keep me inspired. Um, and the only thing that I hadn't finished before I had to go home and stay at home were a couple vocals. So I've set up my closet as a vocal studio and it's been, you know, it's been crazy. I'm like, I'm going into the closet, I'll be back. <laughs> hey, you so, do what you gotta do, right? <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's a different kind of record, right? <laughs> That's right, That's right. It's a good story too. When the record comes out, we'll be like, remember that record she made in her closet? <laughs> Yeah, most of it was not in the closet, but I have gone into the closet to finish the rest of it. Okay. Well, we're so excited to hear your music, Mindy. I'm going to disappear, and it's all you now. And thanks, Great, for hosting us. Absolutely. All right, I'll be back. You got it. First of all, I want to say thank you to Laura. Thank you to the She Rocks for putting this on. This has been amazing. I watched last week's. And uh, this week's has been awesome. I've just been a fan sitting here. So we should all give Laura Whitmore a round of applause because she deserves it for putting this together and, and showing off some you know, great female power. So I'm just very honored to be a part of this uh, as I am anything she puts together. So uh, this particular song I'm gonna start off with, this is the title track to my Wild Heart CD. And this particular CD was a record that I made with friends. And I just think right now, friends are so important. It's that connection that, that maybe we took for granted, but I sure don't right now. And I just feel like uh, we all need each other so much. So my Wild Heart CD, I had Greg Allman help me out and Trombone Shorty and Booker T. Jones and Max Weinberg, Kev Moe. Um, so this is the title track. I just felt like it was meaningful. It's called Wild Heart. I'm gonna back off because saxophone is loud, I hear. <laughs>
wild heart. <laughs> um, I wanted to do a few songs and kind of just show you a few different things, but this, uh, this next song is a special one for me. This is a She Rocks, you know, showcase or, or a spotlight series. And um, so I know it's, it's great woman power always. And uh, this particular song, I see women taking over the world on a daily basis. And it's, uh, it's amazing to me, it's inspiring. And uh, so I, I had to write a song, you know, some, sometimes people come up after my shows and they say, wow, you're pretty good for a girl. <laughs> and uh, I just always think it's the funniest thing. It means so well, uh, but it was my song to write. And so uh, I wrote it and Joe Bonamassa was good enough to sit in on the record for it. And uh, whew, he turned a four minute song into like a, an eight minute, crazy, amazing song. So uh, I'm gonna bring my husband who is not a guitarist, he's a wine guy, but he is gonna be my guitarist today because you know, I live with him and he's cute and he can play guitar. And, uh, and he's bringing some wine too. This is mine, don't take it. <laughs> I won't bring your wine. Don't take my wine. <laughs> I love you, don't take my wine. Right, right, we have rules in this house. <laughs> And by the way, this is our pretty good for a girl one. What? Check that out. So he's a wine guy. So he's the head of our wine and music company. And if you want some of it, you can go to reservetastings.com and uh, become a member and get some. But it's pretty good for a girl. Um, <laughs> so this song, it's my story. Now I'm just a girl all sugar and spice, but my daddy said I didn't have to play nice. He said it's not about can't or pan, and I'm not trying to play just like a man.
good for a girl. <laughs> Give it up for my husband. That's Eric Guerra. Cheers, hon. I hope you guys are good out there. And uh, I just want to say thank you for joining us today because this is so cool. Um, it's cool of Laura to do this. And uh, this has just been sanity for myself, for Eric. You know, we just, we do feel so crazy to not be out on tour and seeing you guys. So uh, we've been doing our own Facebook lives. You can go to my Facebook page um, and come Tuesday nights and sit in with us and we drink some wine and play some music. Uh, but this just makes me feel so good just to be here playing for you guys and uh, being a part of this. So thanks for tuning in. Um, the next song I have for you is pretty special. I've never, uh, we've never released it. This is part of a, the new album that I was talking to Laura about before that um, we, re we recorded right before uh, this whole coronavirus epidemic kind of uh, took hold. So um, this is a song that I just thought was really perfect for our lives. We obviously have a wine company and uh, I've done music my whole life. This is a song called Fine Wine and Vine, unreleased as of yet. I'm gonna get rid of the saxophone. You tell me when you're ready. Okay, almost. Okay. Down. Uh, <laughs> He's 
all you got in there. Give it up for my husband, Eric. Sitting in on the guitar. He last played in high school, probably, or college. It yeah, got him college. girls. Well, yeah, college, yeah. Nice shirt, though. Thanks. He could have dressed up. It said should contain alcohol. <laughs> Does contain it's alcohol. Bye-bye. <laughs> all right. Um, I wanted to play you a song that I played. Um, let me put this down for a second that I played on the She Rocks showcase and we opened up the show with it. And uh, at that point, it was a song that I had just written with a guy named Jim Peterick. And you might know Jim Peterick because he wrote amazing songs like I Have the Tiger and Hold On Loosely and Vehicle. And uh, he's got very cool purple hair. And I've written a bunch of songs with him over the years. And it's funny that it takes sitting down with him to write this woman's anthem. But uh, we were mixing it today uh, we're mixing it, you know, via computer, imagine that, and uh, putting in a string section and just the full band. It's become this amazing thing. So this is a song called Where There's a Woman, There's a Way. And uh, this is just me and a piano right now. But uh, give it a couple months and it'll come out on the record and it's, uh, it's just bigger than life. So where there's a woman, there's a way. Say, 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 
a little woman power for Parade Magazine, and she rocks Spotlight series. So uh, I got to give it up to my mom. <laughs> we all should, right? Call your mama today. Um, I got one more song for you, and I just uh, I want to say thanks for showing up today, and uh, stay sane out there, and uh, stay safe, and uh, my, my heart's with you guys, and uh, you just made my night tonight. So uh, I wanted to end on a song that, uh, as a saxophonist, it's a, a special song for me. Um, I grew up with a lot of rock and pop, and uh, I didn't really find jazz till a little bit later, but when I found it, it was awesome. So uh, this particular artist, he came from Florida, just like me, and uh, this song was written by Joe Zawinul, uh, a great keyboardist, but it was made famous by Cannonball Adderley. So uh, he's not with us anymore, but I'm going to, you know, try and give you a little Cannonball Adderley for you. So this is a, a very cool song called Mercy, Mercy, Mercy. makes wine. <laughs> I don't know. She's a good person to have around. <laughs> if you're going to be sheltering in place, do it with Mindy. That's my advice. <laughs> I think so. Well, thank you so much, Mindy. Remind people where they can find out about you. Uh, you can go 
Facebook at Mindy A Bear. Uh, and you can go to Instagram at Mindy A Bear, YouTube, official Mindy A Bear, or go to MindyABear.com. And well, for the wine, you're going to want the wine. <laughs> and the wine comes with music too. So uh, go to ReserveTastings.com. So uh, yeah, come find us and come Tuesday nights and, uh, and hang out with us. But this has been amazing. Thank you guys for coming. Yay. Back. And I've brought everybody back to thank you guys so much. Heather Yeomans. Yeah. Thank you. And 76th Street, Haley and Spencer. Thank you. And thank you, Mindy. And thank you guys so much for watching. I want to thank Parade for hosting us. We will be back next Thursday at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. We're going to have Grammy-nominated singer-songwriter Shelly Pikin, who's written hits like uh, What a Girl Wants for Christina Aguilera and Almost Doesn't Count for Brandy and like a ton of other ones. She's going to be performing along with artists Ruby Val and Jessica Childress. Um, and please donate and support musicians, support live music. Right, guys? We're out here in the trenches trying to make the music happen. Um, donate at thewomen.com slash donate. So thanks, everybody. And um, stay safe. Thank and you. Keep it rocking. Good job, everyone. <laughs> All right, guys. Take care. Have a good night. And uh, we'll be back.